Welcome to School Spotlight on Disrupt Ed TV. I'm your host, Joe Pizzo. Magician, mentalist, and mind reader, Amit Kalantri believes that what music is to the heart, mathematics is to the mind. I am fairly certain that algebra teacher Shahzad Hanif would agree with Kalantri. A middle school teacher at the Beacon House School in Islamabad, Pakistan, Hanif's video shows him working with students who know only three algebraic identities. As a result of this featured lesson, Hanif's students learn not only two methods of solving a question, but a new algebraic identity as well. Let's join Hanif while he is instructing his students. This is Shahzad Hanif from Pakistan, Islamabad. I am an O-level maths teacher teaching in Beacon House School System in Islamabad. Uh, students, I've got to do something very special for you. What I'm going to do, since you have already known some special algebraic identities, the identities are a plus b whole power 2, which is equal to a power 2, plus b power 2 plus 2ab. And the second identity, a minus b whole power 2, which is equal to a power 2, plus b power 2 minus 2ab. And the third identity, a power 2, minus b power 2, which is which will always be equal to product of a plus b and a minus b. Now I've got this very interesting question for you. How can we apply these identities on numbers to evaluate them without using a calculator? Okay. First of all, I just wanted to tell you, uh, let me try any one of these identities first. So let's try a um, simple method, so I will call this as method 1. If you look at these two numbers very closely, these two numbers are squared. And these two numbers not only squared, they are segregated by a negative sign. See? So this is of the form a power 2 minus b power 2. So if I wanted to apply the same identity on these numbers, what I'm going to do, I will simply write like 40, 59 plus 41 and 59 minus 41. Once you add these two numbers, you will get 100. And once you subtract, you get 18. So the result is going to be 1800. We have already solved this. Now, exactly we call the solution. Shahir, do you think can we use any these two identities to get the same solution? Do you think? I don't know, sir. Maybe you can. Uh, okay, let me show you one more simple way. And uh, believe it or not, at the end of the solution, you will get one more identity which you have not studied and I have not included but I am going to leave a space for this identity. Okay, now we have done this. So let's see how can we use any one of these identities to get the same solution. Okay, so here we go. Now, our original question has been 59 power 2 minus 41 power 2. Okay, what I'm going to do, let me think of it, which one I can easily apply to get the same solution which was 1800. Uh, let's flip this number, 50 plus 9 whole power 2 minus 50 minus 9 whole power 2. That's very interesting. Now look at this. This is of the form a plus b whole power 2. And this one is of the form a minus b whole power 2. Let's apply these two identities on these numbers. So what I'm going to do, this is going to be squared a power 2 which is 50 power 2. This is going to be squared which is b, 9 power 2. And then take the product of 2ab which means twice a is 50 
and B is going to be 9. Now, same thing applies over here with the negative sign. A power 2, which is 50 power 2, plus B power 2. Now, remember, the difference between this and this is this has to be plus 2AB and this is going to be minus 2AB. So, which means this is going to be minus 2 into 50 into 9 and then close this bracket. No, what have we got? We have got this. Uh, so, this is going to be, see the result, this is going to be 50 into 50 is 2500 plus 9 into 9 is 81. And if you multiply this, this is going to be uh, 50 times 2 is 100. So this is going to be 900. Then, same thing applies over here. 50 into 50 is 2500 plus 9 into 9 is 81. And this is going to be again 50 to 100 and 9 is going to be 900. So if you look at this, once you open this one, you will end up getting 2500 plus 81 plus 900 then you have minus 2500 minus 81 plus 900 so this 2500 goes with 2500 you can cancel them because this is plus this is minus 81 and 81 it can be cancelled so eventually you are left with 900 plus 900 which is going to be 1800 interestingly we have solved this one but what have we got students see we have got another identity which is very interesting this means if I am going to apply this one so it is going to be a 